What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about malignant hearts, what they do, and kind of what you can expect from them when Season 1 launches in Diablo 4. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you had not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Malignant Hearts are kind of comparable to Legendary Gems if you did play Diablo 3. Malignant Hearts will give characters powerful bonuses when slotted into jewelry pieces, provided the socket color matches. So the Malignant Heart will have a color to that certain heart, and of course your gem sockets and your jewelry will have a color as well. You have to match those to be able to use them. Uh, when it comes to some information we received just a few days back from the devs, there will be 32 Malignants in Season one so that gives you four different types and that will mean there will be eight malignant hearts per type coming to diablo 4 in season one now when it comes to exactly what these do or what bonuses you get from each heart type the devs did give us kind of a look at this first of all he talked about how these all will drop from vicious malignant monsters in game or you can craft them and that's one thing I think a lot of the community was happy about because when the game first was released, a lot of players talked about how most action RPGs or MMO style games have a lot of different ways that you can craft gear in game and Diablo 4 was kind of lacking in the crafting department. Now these malignant hearts are being added in season one. This is something else we can kind of layer in with that whole crafting idea in the game. And this will give you some options to craft even more stuff in Diablo 4. I'm sure we'll get more crafting and more items to craft as the game goes on from season to season. But when it comes to the different malignant heart types, we have the Vicious Heart, which is an offensive power, the Brutal Heart, which is a defensive power, uh, the Devious Heart, which is utility power, and the Wrathful Heart, which will be superpower. Like I said, these can be crafted. They will drop from uh, Brutal Malignant mon Monsters in game. But you can kind of see the different color variations these have. And that's what they're meaning when you have a new piece of jewelry in Season 1 or you have a piece of jewelry in Season 1 and you start to get these malignant hearts. You will have to match these hearts with that socket. So you're going to have to find, you know, a jewelry piece for, you know, offensive power, defensive utility, and super, so on, to kind of match these different colors with those jewelry pieces. I think a lot of people are looking forward to this. The devs did say they're wanting, they're wanting to make more powerful builds and give players more options to have almost overpowered builds. And we all know they're not going to let, you know, some crazy overpower build go very long in game. They seem to kind of nerf and buff stuff a lot, uh, mainly nerf a lot of what a lot of people's opinion is about the game's first few uh, updates we had. But I do think this is going to add a good amount of you know, ability power to your characters, whether you're going for offensive, defensive, utility, uh, you know, your ultimate power or uh, your superpower there. Um, you're already going to have whatever type of aspect you want on your jewelry pieces. Now you're going to be able to add these malignant hearts to that as well and make those jewelry pieces very, very powerful by adding kind of another uh, option there or you know just more option there for what your jewelry pieces will offer to your character build overall anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about these malignant hearts are you looking forward to season one here in diablo 4 and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace